Hello folks, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make some basic adjustments to a motion path. I've got a red solid that I've just created up here and I'm going to put my time marker on zero, set a keyframe for position, go forward a little bit, grab and pull, go forward a bit more, grab and pull, go forward a bit more and I'm going to grab and pull it up there just to do a very kind of simple sort of semicircle move. Uh, my preview bar which is this grey bar here I'm going to set to about two seconds. So a very simple move just in a sort of bowl like so. If you remember from the earlier tutorials as we moved along the timeline keyframes were set at the various points that we dragged the red object. Now, the motion path that you can see that the object is following can be adjusted further. If we just do a quick RAM preview up here on the top right, let's just play it through and see how quickly it plays. Now, at the moment, it's playing over the space of about one and a half seconds. There we go. Now, if you want it to go more quickly, all you need to do is simply bunch the keyframes closer together, like so. The closer together they are, the faster the animation. As you can see, the animation is now going to take only one second, or just under one second. Let's play it back. One second. Boom. If you want to slow the animation down, you pull the keyframes further apart. The further apart they are, the slower the animation. So this should now take about two seconds. Let's give it a RAM preview and have a look. Okay, there we go. So same movement, but now it just takes two seconds to make the move in time and space. Right, so now that our motion path is set up, so we've got four keyframes setting up the motion path, there we go, we can actually make some further adjustments to it. I'm just going to pause it there and let's have a look at the motion path on the screen. As we can see, we've got one, two, three and four keyframes. They can also be clicked up here. Let me just uh, get my right selection tool. One, two, three, four. Those are the four points that define the motion path. Now you can adjust a motion path by grabbing the keyframe or the point here. Whoops. Like so. You can actually move it anywhere around the screen that you like. This will completely alter the nature of the motion path. I'm going to put it more or less back to where it was. You'll also notice, folks, that if you click on the keyframes, you've got these handles. And these handles can be adjusted even further, like so, to make further adjustments to the motion path. Like so. If you click on the pen tool up here or press G on the keyboard, if you go to add vertex, you can add further keyframes along the motion path, like so. When you've done that, click back on your normal selection tool here or press V on the keyboard and you can then of course adjust the motion path even further, like so. If you want to remove any of the keyframes or points, click on the pen tool and go to delete vertex. And you can delete points like so. Now the points along, I'm just going to click on my selection tool if you could do the same, let's go back on that. Now these points are known as bezier points that are essentially rounded curved points. So the motion path is moving in a curved manner. If you want to alter them to be linear or straight points, click on the pen tool again and go to Convert Vertex Tool. If you click on them now, they become linear points and your motion path straightens out in a linear, straight fashion. Let's click back on our selection tool. Let's render it by going to RAM Preview, 
and let's now look at the motion path in a more linear, straight fashion. There we go. A much more mechanical kind of move. Right, let's pause that there. Try some of those moves and adjustments on the motion path. See you in the next tutorial.